fraud that happened in Wirecard. Pioneer was uh, linked to wire Wirecard. People had their money frozen for about a week. And mine was included in that. So just have your money in various accounts, not just one. When they go insolvent or things like that happen, uh, it can be a problem. Your money can basically freeze and it can take months for you to get it back. Just, uh, know how money works and how the world works, how banks work. Even banks can go bankrupt. Keep that in mind. Listen, it's a, it'll be a huge advantage if you ask questions because uh, this is, like, ask as many questions as you can because we can also role play, like I role play with him. Sir, I have a, uh, one more question. Uh, sir, can you tell more, more uh, about the model that we will present the first time to take a project from a client? Yeah, you should have a video that describes your process. You don't need to ex explain it each, uh, every time. Like, uh, have a video. Step one, we do this. Step two, we do this. Step three, we do this. Step four, you get the result. Then we repeat from step one until the project is complete. Thank you. Hello, sir. Uh, thank you for the session. Uh, I would like to ask that uh, what are the chances of being getting scammed or uh, any fraudulent uh, freelancers or clients? So is there any chances in these websites or would you like to suggest us some safe websites? Fiverr is safe, Upwork is safe. There are scams on every website. There are scams even on Facebook right now. Yes. There are scams on every website. You just have to uh, like, scammers, what they do is like Indian scammers, and there are many Indian scammers. Uh, Indians, what they do is they say that pay us first, then we will work. That is uh, like most, um, most of the time they're scammers. I've seen many accounts get banned when I, uh, when I was a client. Uh, I needed to get some work done because I couldn't handle all the projects that were coming. So I, so I hired people, and some of them were asking for like one two thousand dollars up front. That a scammer. His account got banned uh, like uh, one week after that. So how do we know that uh, this person is like not uh, uh, not a scammer and not fraudulent? So based on his profile, or uh, what do we what do we want to see? Uh, like he's uh, a legit person and he can help us. Okay, so I uh, had a project which was supposed to be created in something called Phaser. It is a it is a framework. So a Nigerian uh, Nigerian freelancer contacted me and said he can do this. So I said, how will you do this? What is the process? He said, just trust me, sir. What do you think? Was he a scammer or not? That seems like a scammer. He got his account banned. Okay. Yeah. He he, he wouldn't he wouldn't have uh, completed the task. He just said, "Trust me." So if they're not describing the process, if they're not explaining to you how they will do things, they're most likely a scammer. If they ask for money up front, unless they are telling you why they will use it and for what purpose, then uh, it's it, it it is a scam. Like for example, I sometimes ask for cl uh, clients for money up front because I have to buy stuff. So what I do is I ask the client that I need this money so I can buy this stuff. I'm going to give it to him as soon as I buy it. So when they give me the money, I give it to them. So that uh, I have to explain why I'm asking for money up front. Yes, sir. So, so let me get this straight. Like uh, if we want to know that this is a legit person, so we can know from his communication and the details he provides. So yeah. that is based on the communication between the client and the free freelancer. Yes, yes, yes. That exactly. is the point. Uh, another thing is that um, uh, I hired an Indian once for a picture. Now I don't remember what that picture was. But uh, I asked him, I asked the client for an update. So I asked the freelancer for an update. Yes. And they, they did give an update, but they gave a file which didn't work. So uh, that guy was a scammer uh, because he was giving a file which did not work. It was just an empty file. It was, it was very strange. It was, a, it was a JPEG, but there was nothing in that JPEG. So I canceled the project with him. And I do not know whether his account is still uh, like uh, uh, like on Fiverr or not. I know other scammers as well. What like a Pakistani once? What he did is he basically inside of his code gave code like the code that uh, like uh, C sharp script, which is a programming thing. He wrote his number inside the code and he gave it to me. So it, uh, if a person is trying to get you off the platform, that is also a sign of a scam.
So it should be the communication should be kept on the platform, even on Upwork. Upwork has this policy too, because if there's a dispute, they can come in as an as a third party and say what you're doing is wrong. So if they're trying to take you off the platform, there are scammers, and try to keep, try to have a third party involved all the time. And uh, you have no idea how many times Fiverr has saved me from bad clients and from people that are. Fiverr is the good website. No, Fiverr is. It depends on what suits you. I'll never say that one thing is uh, well, one platform is good because for some people, Upwork has helped them buy Mercedes and you know uh, get, get, earn a very decent living. I mean, uh, the. It's not. It's. It, I cannot say that one platform is good. Okay. It it depends on your personality type, and uh, what type suits you. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Sir. Please ask questions. Role play very important. Probably more important than the presentation. So we have. Uh, so we have uh, a few questions from our online user named Stalwart Neophyte. Okay. Uh, first comment from him and then questions. He, uh, he says, he remarks, our Urdu is not good either. Actually, we are pretty bad at learning anything thoroughly. We, al we always look for shortcuts. Like with freelancing, people consider it, uh, people consider it is a free money free money without realizing that first they have to train themselves and put their heart and soul to uh, to make themselves a brand and earn money. And I think you already highlighted that point very well. Now he asks, some people are not good at using English, so they lack in communication. How to overcome that deficiency? For me, what worked was that I, I had friends who were good at English, and I asked them, caring friends, and asked, asked them to talk to me in English, and at least I, I became fluent. So that's what worked for me. I can only share what worked for me. Other methods, I don't know. I don't think Udemy courses or any kind of course can help you. Um, if you're not good at something, do more of it, practice it, and you'll be, you'll be good at it. Like uh, my wrestling coach says, if you're not good at wrestling, wrestle, wrestle more. You'll be fine. You'll, you'll get better. And, and b better write in English rather than in Roman yeah. while chatting or texting. Yes. Uh, second question from him. Udemy charges for the courses. Uh, are those self-paced and available offline or they have some expiry? No, are, uh, most of them have lifetime access. But you will not be able to download those uh, videos. Uh, when, my course, which is, going to be, uh, which, is, which is going to be released hopefully within the next two months, it's, uh, it, it, I will make sure that all the videos can be downloaded. Because I'm a, I'm a guy who likes to the users to be free, so they can do whatever they want with the videos. Next question. People use the term hook regarding job proposals. Can you shed some light on what kind of hooks can be used or uh, say some example of hooks, for example, about your gaming gig? My, uh, how I write proposals? Is that, I don't use hooks in, in my proposals. I, uh, my proposals are just one line. No, literally, there are one line when, when, when uh, in, in job detail, when I read the job details, I ask a question. I don't even write a proposal. I don't think proposals work. I'm, I, I believe in statements of work, and my proposals on Upwork are, are just one or two lines, and it's remarkable how many people respond to those. Just questions. So I, I don't use hooks. My hook is basically I keep the client engaged by talking about the problems and all the recommending solutions and, and uh, trying to figure out what, the, what solution the client values the most. Right. Uh, the last question from uh, Mr. Stalbert Newfight. What's your opinion about digital marketing? Will you categorize it in freelancing and is it more about, or it is more about communication and selling? So again, learn communication and sales become more important your comments digital marketing can, uh, freelancers can be digital 
marketers. Uh, I mean, we can offer digital marketing as a freelancer. Uh, but as far as I can tell, digital marketing, you are more of a contract-based employee if you're a digital-based marketer, as far as I can tell, because you will be working for a very long time for one particular, uh, one, one, one organization for a very long time. Like in digital marketing, you cannot jump from one client to another because it's a long process, as far as I can tell. I'm not, I don't know much about digital marketing, but I do know uh, is that uh, digital marketers usually have two or three clients that they work with again and again. So it's, it's uh, like, you're basically, at that, at, at that point, you're, uh, kind of like a contract-based employee instead of a full-time one. There's one notification, but let me refresh the page. Okay, he says, thank you for forwarding my questions. Okay, you're welcome. That concludes the online questions. Any final remark? Good luck. Thank you very much.